Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He had everything that a prophet can ask for. He was the seal of the prophets. But then look, he tells us, I am the first servant that the earth will release him from the graves. He is the first person that will come out of his grave. He is the first person and the only person that Allah will allow to intercede for others. He is the only person, the only person that gates of Jannah will open, no one before him. Then look what he said. There's only one spot. Imagine from the day that Allah created Adam and the jinns to the last day, there's only one spot that everyone that Allah create can aim and dream about. One is one. Not for two, not for second and third and fourth. One is one. Did he say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I love my father Ibrahim alayhi sallam, let him have that spot. Did he say, I want my brother Musa to have that spot? He say, no. After every adhan, ask Allah to give me the wasi, to give me that place, to allow me to be that place that is only for one person. And not only that, he said, if you do this for me, I will intercede for you on the day of Yawm al qiyamah After you heard the adhan, if you say, Allahumma rabbi hadihi al-da'wati tama wa salati al-qayim atib Muhammad al-wasila ta wal-fadil wa ba'azhu Allahumma qam al-mahamud al-ladhi wa'ad. He said then, my shafa'a is yours. See, your messenger of Allah did not want to be a second person. Because second is always forgotten. They only, when they're talking about the history of energy and electricity, they will only mention the man who came up with, not the man who developed. When they're talking about, you know, telephones, they only mention the man who came up with. When we're talking about fuqaha, we always start with Abu Hanifa, because he is the first place. There's always no place for second person. So as a Muslim, if you say, I am content, I'm happy, I'm satisfied with the second place, then I will tell you that is the status and the mentality of a loser. Because your messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said only one person. And he aimed that. He said the nations, the prophets will present their followers. I want to be the one who has most followers. Therefore, Marry women and have children. He wants to be first. He wants you and I, because since we are his followers, to be first of nations. But look at the status of the Muslims nowadays. We are on the back burner. We are on the wagon. We are all way behind all other nations. You know why? Do you know why we became followers, not leaders? It's because we no longer aim high.